Hello, my name is Bjork, and today I'm going to show you how to build a simple redstone contraption that will allow you to automatically place blocks of copper in a way that allows for optimal oxidization. Now, if you want to just see a materials list and get on with the tutorial, you can skip to 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Otherwise, you can keep watching to see an explanation of how this farm works, as well as a demonstration. This machine is a simple piston feed tape, which means that the blocks are moved from one end of the farm to the other as more blocks are added in. The player simply stands on a platform and alternates between placing a block of copper and four gravity blocks, such as gravel, sand, or concrete powder. The farm will automatically push the blocks along as they are placed. Everything is spaced out so that, at every step of the way, Every block of copper is the minimum amount of distance away from any other copper block needed for fast oxidization. After the farm has been filled, players can simply AFK nearby while the copper oxidizes. Once all of the copper has fully oxidized, players can flush the system by adding fresh copper or by placing only gravity blocks. At the end of the farm, there is a mechanism to separate the copper blocks from the gravity blocks. At this point here, the gravity blocks will fall as they're pushed over this hole. They will break once they make contact with that lantern, and the water stream will carry them back to a chest reachable by the player from the main platform, who can then pick up these blocks and continue using them in the farm. Meanwhile, the copper blocks will not fall into that hole and will be pushed into a compact collection area, where the player can mine them manually. I'll show you how to build two different collection areas. A small one like this, that can hold nearly two and a half stacks of copper blocks, and a larger one like this, that can hold 29 and a half stacks of blocks, if you build a larger version of this farm. Alright, now for the materials list. You will need 471 of any kind of building block, 360 glass, 68 sea lanterns or any other kind of light emitting block, or if you don't have those, just any kind of building block. You will need 59 pistons, 48 redstone dust, 48 redstone torches, 3 slabs of any type, a few water buckets, a double chest, one set of stairs of any type, one repeater, and one lantern. Alright, first off, I recommend building over the ocean, or at least high up enough in the sky so that you don't have to deal with clearing any terrain, or risk having any mobs attacking you when you're placing blocks. Alright, so once you've found a suitable location, go ahead and tower up. You don't need to go up a specific height, but I'm just going to go up about 20-ish blocks. Alright, so I'm at about Y level 84, just for reference. Okay. Once you're up here, we're going to build the platform, so go to the side that you want the farm to go off of and build a 3x3 glass platform, just like that. Alright, now the next step is to add a temporary block here and then another block behind it, and you can get rid of this. Now put a piston on top of here, just like that, and put a redstone torch down here, and a solid block coming off of that redstone torch like that, and then another solid block right here, and then add a piece of redstone dust right there. Now add either a sea lantern or another building block right there, and come out one, two, three, four, and then either a sea lantern or another building block right there, and then come out another four more, and then place one more sea lantern. Alright, now place a temporary block here, and then place a solid block behind there, and a piston on top of that. Now put another solid block here, then you can get rid of this, and then a solid block here, a redstone torch down here, and a dot of redstone right there. Now we're going to come out one, two, three, four from that redstone torch and put a temporary block right here and then a solid block behind that and on that side. Now put a piston on top of that block and a sea lantern here and then you can get rid of that. Put a redstone torch here, 
another solid block there, and a redstone dust right there. Now we're going to come out four more, three, four, and then either another sea lantern or a solid block, and then one, two, three, four, and then another sea lantern. Okay, now place a temporary block here, and then put a solid block here, and here, and here, and you can get rid of that. Now put a piston here, a, oh yeah, a solid block here, a redstone torch right here, and a bit of redstone dust right there. Okay, now we're going to come out one, two, three, so that's four in total, and then put a temporary block there, and then a sea lantern or a solid block on this side, and then two more solid blocks there, and then you can get rid of this. Now a piston on top of here, redstone torch there, redstone dust there, and another solid block right there. And then come out one, two, three, four, and then a sea lantern there, and then one, two, three, four, and a sea lantern there. And from here on, you can just repeat the pattern that we did here all the way through just going on and on for as long as you want this farm to extend. Also, slight note, the copper blocks will only oxidize if the player is within eight chunks of those blocks, so that is the maximum length that you can make this farm. Also, I'm making my farm about 11 rows long because that is the length that you need it to be in order to fit a little over two stacks of copper blocks. Alright, so I have made my farm as long as I want it to be, and you can see that it's 11 rows long here. So now we're going to build the section where it curves back around, and then we'll go back to the start. So we're going to come out 5 blocks here, and then put a temporary block, and then some more uh, building blocks. And then get rid of this, and then put a piston on top of here, redstone torch here, dot of redstone there, a solid block there. And then we're going to come out three total right here, and then put a temporary block here, and then building blocks on the sides of that block, and then get rid of that. Now put a piston here, and a solid block here, redstone torch here, a redstone dust here and then come out here so this should be five blocks long in total and then put a temporary block here and then a sea lantern here and then solid blocks on the other sides there and get rid of that and then put a piston here a solid block on the side of that piston redstone torch and redstone dust and then from here on, we are basically just going to make a mirror image of the other side of the farm. So I'll do one row as an example. So come out four blocks, and then sea lantern, and then another four blocks, and then sea lantern, and then temporary block here, a smooth stone or solid blocks on all these sides there. A uh, piston on the top there, redstone torch, uh, redstone dust, and another solid block there. And then come out four more here, or so it's four in total. And then from here on out, we are just going to make a mirror image of what's on the other side of the farm. Alright, once you have built up the other side of your farm to be even with the platform that the player will stand on, we are going to build the section that will send the gravel blocks back to the player. So from this block here, place two temporary blocks, and then place a glass block, and then place glass on the sides of those two blocks, just like that. Okay, you can get rid of these. And now we are going to build up these sections here just like that until they go all the way back to the AFK platform. Alright, so once you're done with that, it should look something like this. And notice that I stopped one shy of this little block with that dot of redstone on top of it like that. So once you're over here, place a temporary block there. And then place a double chest coming off of that, just like that. And then get rid of that temporary block and put a hopper pointing into that chest. 
So, when you are standing on the AFK platform up here, the gravel will come in and you can just access the chest from there, or you can come over here and access it from there. Alright, now once you're done with that, go back to this side of the farm and take some water buckets and place water right there. And then we are going to place top slabs every eight blocks. So place the top slab just above the edge of the water like that. And then place another water bucket right there. And then place a top slab on the very last block that the water flows to. Okay, and then just repeat that process all the way to the end, just like that. And actually, we're going to place a, a top slab on top of the hopper, just like that. So you can place a temporary block on top of the chest, a top slab there, and then get rid of the temporary block. So all of the um, extra gravel should just go into that hopper like that. And you can place a glass block here just to prevent uh, blocks from overflowing. And then you can cover the whole thing with glass if you want. So yeah, just like that. And I should mention that it would be a good idea to put some glass around the edge of that slab, just like that, just so you don't have any blocks overflowing. And um, you could also replace this with an upside down stair, just like that. And then that should also uh, prevent any gravel from flowing out of the farm. Uh, so yeah, either of those would work. So next, you are going to place two temporary blocks there, and then a solid block there, and you can get rid of those, and then put a piston on top of that, and then put solid blocks coming out of it like that, then place redstone dust there, and then a redstone torch right there. Okay, and then place two temporary blocks there, and then a, um, a solid block there, and we are going to build a row of 13 solid blocks coming out like that. So that is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay. And then place a piston on the second block and continue placing pistons all the way to the beginning, just like that. And we can get rid of those temporary blocks. All right, now place a row of redstone dust going all the way to the end, just like that. All right, now place solid blocks there and um, beneath the piston as well. And a solid block right there. Uh, place a redstone torch there, a redstone dust right there, and then a repeater going into that block. And so you can test that this works by putting a block there and all of the pistons should fire. Okay, so your farm should look like this. All right, now if you're just making like a smallish version of this farm, like this size right here, then this collection area is adequate for the amount of copper that will fit in this farm. So this is capable of holding 156 blocks of copper, which is almost two and a half stacks. So if you're just building a farm of this size, uh, you can just add a little platform here um, out of glass blocks or whatever you want so that you can go in and out from the um, the player platform over there and you can just come in with your pickaxe and you can mine all of the copper that is placed in this farm. All right, now if you build any version of this farm that is large enough, like this, you're probably gonna want a larger collection area. So I'll show you how to build one that is capable of holding 1,872 blocks, which is about 29 and a half stacks. So come over to this redstone torch here and place 12 temporary blocks. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now place two solid blocks going off the edge like that and place a lever there and turn it on and then place a redstone repeater there. Uh, now place one, two blocks there like that and a block on top of that and you can get rid of that. Now this should come out three like that and then place another block there 
and another block on top of that lever right there. Okay, and then continue placing building blocks all the way back to the beginning. So we should have 12 in total. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this should line up with the first temporary block. All right, now come back over here and place a redstone dust, uh, a line of redstone dust like that. Um, and one more there. And then place a repeater going into that block there. And then place a line of redstone dust on these blocks here all the way to the beginning. All right, now place another row of building blocks just like that. All right. And now we're going to place repeaters going that facing that way all the way to the beginning of this row here all right so just like that now you can get rid of these temporary blocks and then you are going to place pistons so they are in a 12 by 12 square so we're going to come out one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that should line up and with the first piston there and then come out 12 more in the other direction so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay and then go ahead and fill this in so the whole thing should be pistons facing downwards. Alright, so I filled it all in and it should look like this. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to come in and we're going to put redstone dust on top of each and every single piston. Alright, so when you're done with that, it should look like this. Now, if you want, you can build a little glass platform or something about... 14 blocks down so you can measure how far that is by just placing blocks here until they stop getting pushed down okay so just like that and then come down here and just go two blocks lower and just start building a little platform down here so you can stand on this and you can manually mine all of the blocks in your farm all right, so I've added a glass platform below and a bit of scaffolding so I can get up and down from that platform. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this farm. So if you want to use this thing, of course, you come over here and you take your copper. All right. And then you take your gravel or your sand or your concrete powder, just any kind of gravity block, and you place one copper, and then one, two, three, four gravity blocks, and then copper, and then four more gravity blocks, and so on and so forth, until your entire farm is filled. Alright, that does it for this tutorial. If you have found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you! Bye!